Members of the Cyclotron Cycling Club say the 25km race, which was held on the 1st of October to commemorate Nigeria's 60th independence anniversary, will become an annual event. More than 50 members took part in the middle edition of the race, which started from Ikeja to the International Airport and Alausa before heading back to the start point in Ikeja. The 25km race ended without winners and losers, but had participation of Nigerians from different walks of life and ethnic groups. Right, Captains Shegwan Jayi and Gabriel Chukudeme say one of the aims of Cyclotron is to encourage Nigerians to actively participate in sports, especially cycling. And Cyclotron Club Captain Shegun Daudu joins the breakfast show as we indeed take a look at them uh, cycling on the show this morning. Well, to commemorate the 60th independence anniversary, we saw cyclists participate in the 25 kilometer race, which was the first of its kind from Cyclotron. Um, would you like to share your experience with us? Good morning, and thank you for inviting us here. Um, as you, you rightly said, we arranged that event just to celebrate our country and celebrate the fact that uh, health is a particular you know, necessity at this time when people are staying at home and they're not able to get out and get their normal exercise and uh, get their normal fitness levels to keep their immune system and to keep themselves you know, healthy. So we organize that to get our members and to encourage more new members to come in to enjoy the sport of cycling, to get fitter and to get more you know, fresh air out and um, be outdoors you know, to, to just make sure that the COVID experience doesn't leave them worse than before the COVID started. Well, yeah. what would be, you know, um, the values of having more Nigerians become um, Cyclotron Club members or if I indeed um, want to enjoy um, cycling, what are the values? The values that we like to um, encourage is camaraderie, right? That's the very first thing. Because we're not just um, an individual on the road, we are a team, we are a group of people with like minds and who take health and fitness very, very, very seriously. So what we'll always encourage is the fact for you to come and participate, be a member. We have training that we give for new members. We also have training we give for people who want to you know, be there. And once you become part of the club, it's, it's very, very, very interesting because four or five of you are operating as one individual because what happens to the person in front affects the person at the back. So it teaches us how to learn, you know, to be at one with each other and to enjoy the fact that if I'm not doing well, someone else will not benefit from that. So that, you know, it encourages a major level of camaraderie that goes beyond cycling. We're all okay. friends outside of the cycling club and that, you know, it just creates a whole new dimension of people that you enjoy and being, you know, in a group with. Well, I would like you to, you know, break it down once more. You made mention of the fact that you all are friends, you know, outside the cycling club. And um, if I want to understand, you know, this club better, um, we see cycling competitions outside Nigeria, like the Tour de France and all that. But now, coming to Cyclotron Club, I've seen national team members um, like Kate, um, who is also a member of um, the Cyclotron Club. So. Yeah. Does this say that um, beyond just having a group of friends, one way or the other, the country could also benefit, you know, from having, you know, Nigerians become a part of Cyclotron? Absolutely, I agree with you. Um, I personally and a few other members, we've been outside of Nigeria and because of cycling. You know, we've been to com competitions in South Africa, England, New York, Italy as well, to just enjoy the whole you know spectacle of cycling and I have to say to you it really is amazing when you're out on the road with total strangers at the start of the competition they're strangers by the end of it your friends you're talking about your bicycle you're talking about the life on the road you're talking about so many different things and it doesn't take a lot to actually create this simple competitions okay. the one in South Africa that I attended started off as a group of people who just wanted to ride from one point to the next. Okay. And that group of people became more and more. The government got involved and now it's a national competition. That particular um, competition in SA brings in thousands of tourism and thousands of you know, jobs for the local community. So it doesn't take a lot to actually get something like that started. 
needs a committed group of people and a committed right. um, sp group of sponsors, I'll say. I'm also very big. Thank you, Ladi Daudu, for being a part of the breakfast show. He is indeed um, the captain of a Cyclotron Club. I'm also very big. Thank you for being a part of the show once again.